떨은 품 떨은 그 말로 멋진 옷을 지어 입곤 텅빈 방에 누워 잠이 나잤지 Everybody, it's the first day of school! Yay! Okay, so I'm running a little late right now. Like, right now it's like 11:45, and I'm supposed to leave by 12:05. I set an alarm on my phone because I woke up kind of late. So we're just gonna get ready really quickly and run to class because I don't want to be late for the first day. I'm kind of panicking right now, but I'll see you guys on campus. <laughs> to announce that I will be partnering with Anna Luisa for this video. Yay! So Anna Luisa is a jewelry brand that crafts high quality pieces for super affordable prices. On top of that, their packaging and products are carbon neutral and each product is designed to be unique. Anna Luisa has given me a few pieces to showcase. As you can see, each piece comes in its own Anna Luisa packaging. So the first product I have is the Mish necklace. This is the product up close. I love the green right here. I'm gonna put her on. I literally wear this necklace every single day. She is so freaking cute and goes with every single outfit. I like the gold, like it's neutral. It goes with everything and the green. It just adds like a nice touch. Slay like, it's literally my favorite piece ever. Next piece I have is the Albali earrings. These are what the earrings look like up close. I love that they have these little gem accents. They're so slay, but they're really simple bold statement hoops. I also wear these every single day. They look good with everything. And I'm thinking of getting the Dobbies. They're like the green earrings that match the necklace. But I just wanted like a simple statement hoop that goes with everything and she's slaying. She's sitting here. Last product I have is a Mecca off-white ring. It comes in this packaging. I wear her on my middle finger, my left middle finger like this. I love how it's kind of like a statement piece. It kind of stands out because of the white, but it still like goes with everything. And the last, last piece I have, bonus piece, I bought this myself, is the cigar band ring. This is what she looks like. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, Annalisa. Like, I'm sorry, but I scratch her up a little bit because I wear her everywhere. I actually wear her everywhere. She fits on my right middle finger. These are like my statement rings and they're so freaking cute. So freaking cute. So if you a broke bee like me, I got you, I got you. Click the link down in the description for my code or like, right here where my code will be on the screen thank you so much again annalisa for sponsoring me and partnering with me for this video i am so so grateful and thank you so much for the jewelry <laughs> guys i literally can't believe it like i'm fangirling so hard right now Guys, I missed my stall, 
So I'm waiting for the next bus to come. Thankfully, it's coming in like five minutes and Emily gave me this flower. Look how cute it is. So after I get home, I'm going to eat. I did eat a little meal, like a bagel, but I want to eat more because I'm going to get to the gym. Aww. And then after that, I'm going to try getting some assignments done really early. Aww. So I don't have to worry about this weekend. Since we're waiting for the bus, like I forgot to show you guys my fit this morning because I was running late, but I'll show you now. So this top is from Uniqlo, and then I got these pants also from Uniqlo, pleated trousers. And on my arm here, I don't know if you can see it, my corduroy jacket. Yo, this whole fit's actually like all from Uniqlo. I'm like obsessed with that store. But honestly, it's really hot, so I don't know why I'm wearing like trousers like this. But I put them on because this morning I thought it was going to be cold. I saw like low 20s and high like teens for the weather today, so I thought it would be more chillier and windy. But it's actually like super hot. I've been sweating walking around. So I know that for tomorrow. Tomorrow's fits, guys, going to be fire. Aww. Literal fire. Aww. And you'll find out why. I'm home. Look at my setup, guys. I literally woke up so late, 30 minutes, and usually it takes me like an hour or two to get ready. So I was really rushing it, but I found like a new strat, which is to like set your alarm for when you're supposed to leave to catch the bus. And then when that alarm rings, no matter what, I'm getting up. Honestly, that strat worked. We're like chilling, guys. We're chilling. Last year, like for my first day, I literally came to class late. Okay, I came to class late today too, but like that really doesn't count because last year I woke up super late So then I was like rushing to class and I was missing like a bunch of things Honestly, I was like super disorganized and I still am kind of but I feel like I'm getting better and this is like a really good start for me Even though I woke up late today, I did get together and then got to class relatively on time And I feel like this is an achievement for me because like last year I came to class late kind of like because I woke up late But like this year I came to class late because I got lost If that makes it any better I don't know if it does but to me it's a small one for me. In class, I was playing like after class, maybe stay on campus or like go straight home. I didn't know what to do, but then I caught up with my friends, Emily, Jimmy, and Ryan, obviously. I was like really happy to see them all again because I didn't see most of them at all for the entire summer. So it was like super great catching up with them. Now I'm just spending some time chilling by myself. I had lunch like an hour ago, but I want to eat more because I'm going to head to the gym and I'm just going to watch some YouTube and like set up my notion real quick. I don't know which one I'm going to do yet, but we'll figure it out. Hello, I just finished setting up my room so now I'm on my way to Walmart because I really don't have a charger and this morning I did not charge any of my devices so I came to class with a dead laptop my iPad was 30% which is an L so I actually had to get a charger because I lost my actual charger and like what I'm using right now is like the MagSafe wireless thing which I don't have for my iPad we are going on a journey and also I just had like a revelation character development moment like I really want to buy a cold drink and Starbucks is open for like another hour but then I decided against it I decided let's save money live better guys because we're gonna do that and I'm just heading straight to Walmart instead so small win number two for me let's go let's go so when I'm back I'm actually gonna do work right now I'm like currently separated from my cousin because she doesn't have a phone plan so she can't call me while I'm on this walk but it's okay we'll enjoy this time together <laughs> just got back from walmart so i'm going to open up these because i gotta put them in my mirror oh shit i thought you only needed two batteries for this but turns out you need four guys i fucked up Dude, this mirror needed triple A's, but I bought double A's. Dude. Honestly, it's kind of annoying, but it's whatever. 
guys, look at my phone. Like, I literally dropped this off the CNE, so it's fucked up now. It's like a strobe light. Guys, when I sleep, literally this happens. All my plushies fall to the ground. So I gotta reset my bed. Walking to the bus stop, so we're here now. I'm just gonna show you my fill of the day because honestly, it's kind of fire, okay? I got this vintage varsity jacket, it's my dad's. Uniqlo tee, these pants from Garage. Yo, these are like my favorite wide legged pants ever. They're sick, rocking the dunks. I don't think I showed you my dunks yesterday. I got them this summer. Hey, and I forgot to show you this yesterday, but also got jewelry from Ana Luisa. I wish every day. It's sick with the. This is like my favorite necklace ever. I look really good with the green, I'm not gonna lie. These earrings. Yeah, now I'm catching the bus. Actually, the bus is right here. Perfect timing. See you at school. Guys, I'm late. We're like 10 minutes late. Hey guys, editing me here. Side note, like, I just wanted to add in that this is a very moment that me and, like, my bestie Wazi met. Like, he literally saw me film me being late at the bottom of the stairs to his class, even though I'm supposed to be running up the stairs to the class. But he literally passed me. Now we're besties, so. Hashtag slay. Rate it out of 10. Oh, it's like a nine. A nine? Yeah. Okay. okay. Morning guys, I woke up kind of late today. So, sitting here is my freaking lecture. It has participation too, so, at least it's online. But I have to pull up to this workshop at 11. And I don't even know when the bus is coming and I gotta get ready. Your girl needs to look busted, so. I got home at like four, no, three last night, and then I slept at four. I only got like four hours of sleep, so. I'm dead as fuck, bro. Before I leave, I'm gonna give you guys a fit check. So, cardigan from Hot Topic, top from Uniqlo, the skirt from Aritzia. Tina skirt, tennis skirt, and this fits. So, okay, I'm leaving now, guys, but I'm not gonna lie to you, like, I'm not busting to school today. I'm Ubering because I have a workshop at 11 and it's currently 10.40, so we're taking L's because we took too long to get ready. But, um, guys, that's never happening again. Aww. Okay, like, I'm really sorry. These are bad habits that we don't want to continue, so it's never going to happen again. I promise. I promise. It's just for today, because we got to get to school on time. I'm not trying to, like, be late and take an L. Aww. So, I'll see you guys at school. <laughs> Hi, um, can I make an appointment Hi. for today? Mm-hmm, sure. Um, what time are you guys uh, free? It's always time, but 
time is 2.30. 2.30? And, yeah, and 3 o'clock is the last time. Um, can, three, yeah, three, can I... 3, three, three Can I do 3.30, please? 3.30, okay. Can I get your phone number? Okay, you have a good day. 3.30, we'll be back you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Hey guys. So, I just wanted to sit down, have a little talk with you guys, per. Look at this plushie Victor got me. It's so cute. Boba plushie. I spilled some chocolate milk, so there's like these gross ass stains on them. But I'm gonna throw it in the laundry. You're probably wondering why it's on the bed, but like, she's so cute. Look at her. Speaking of laundry, I need to do that tomorrow. But today, I'm getting haircut. Um, I feel like my hair is like grown out a little bit long. Okay, for real guys, like let me know if you think I should keep my hair long, like grow it out or not. But today, your opinion does not matter because I'm gonna cut it. I just feel like, I really like my short hair better. I feel like more my, like myself with it because I've had it like all the time when I was a kid and then I grew my long hair out in high school. But I kind of associate with being like insecure because I was super insecure in high school. So like whenever I had long hair in first year, like I didn't associate it back then like consciously, but I was also insecure in first year. So then when I cut my hair in the spring slash summer, I just felt like a new me. So like, I don't know if that rant like made sense to you guys at all or not, but that's my little spiel on why I want to keep my hair short. But I'm thinking of growing it out long again because I think like she can be cute. She can be cute with the long hair. But as you can tell, like my bangs have grown out. Like she has grown out and I don't like my forehead that much. Like, okay, honestly, my forehead's not even that big, but it looks big to me. Like, look guys, you can fit four fingers on it, but like, I'm kind of insecure about my forehead, so I like to keep it covered. So like, when I put rollers in my hair, now the hair, instead of like going like this, it's like a pear shape, highlighting my forehead. And honestly, personally, I don't like that. But I also feel like that's because I'm putting in my rollers wrong low key. It's just easier to maintain and manage when like my curtain bangs are a little bit shorter. And another thing I want to do is like have the bangs like frame my face, like get face framers. Because last time I got a haircut, it was like July, June-ish. And I didn't really get face framers. I didn't go to like an Asian place. So they cut my hair layers like down like this way instead. Like completely straight down instead of like... Like do you guys know what I'm saying? We're sitting because I've just been kneeling. like, okay, this is better. But like today, guys, my bed is not made. Like that's kind of embarrassing. But I literally rushed out today. After a haircut, I'm going to head to the gym. For the past two days, I've just been on eight hours of sleep, which is a huge L. I have a party tonight, which I'm excited about. So I don't really know the people there. But this year, I'm trying to like go out of my comfort zone, make new friends. Because that's something that I didn't really do last year. I feel like last year, I was like kind of insecure with myself. And I didn't like my personality that much. But I feel like over the summer, I've gained like much more confidence. I want to use that confidence to meet new friends, vibe with new people. Just put myself out there and like... Saying that is easier than like doing it because like there's still a lot of situations like this past week where I'm just been too scared to talk to people and approach them but like I'm definitely getting better at it and I'm really proud of myself for that so per we're going to character development I'm gonna tell you about my current situation so after my stats class I had to go to this workshop so the workshop is for this program like a sub program I don't even know like what it's called but it's like a program within my program called the QPP so basically I failed first year because the cumulative average is 70 and mine was a 69.5 so in second semester I kind of choked and if you saw like my first semester exams video over here guys and you saw the final grades in that i kind of choked a little bit on some classes so all together i had a hard time and then my grade was literally 0.5 percent below the cumulative so we're here now we went through character development it was a really hard time for me bro that shit was like emotionally draining literally for my second semester exams i literally found out that i was like potentially failing right before my first exam like my finance exam i just remember sitting there and like my heart dropping to my stomach and i was like holy shit like how the fuck am i gonna make up for this how am i gonna like get to the cumulative and dude that was like one of the first times i was put in that much like emotional anxiety it was the first time i was like emotionally like kind of numb like i did not allow myself to feel anything and I didn't really like talk to anyone either. So it was just a really lonely and like out of 
body. I don't know how to exp I don't know how to describe it. It was like a whole experience for me. It was challenging, but we definitely made it through. And honestly, I've accepted the situation. Talked about it with my friends and my family, and they're all super supportive. All I have to do are take like the core courses that I got below 75 in. And there's also like workshops that come along to accommodate, helping with like study habits, time management, and just support for students. So like same situation doesn't happen again but honestly guys i'm like happy where i am i'm really glad one of the greatest things about this is like your whole gpa from your transcript is like completely wiped out so i have a chance to like actually get a 4.0 this year which is something that i'm going for guys we're manifesting it we're going to get it okay like i know i choked a little bit today with the participation thing but it's going to happen regardless so honestly i'm like super hyped for first year and you know that's my little ramble like i don't know if my whole ramble makes sense like when i talk sometimes i just lose track of my thoughts honestly i'm like easily very like distracted so whenever i talk i always like stray off a lot and it's just something that i'm trying really hard to focus on next we're going to talk about consistency okay so all my goals for this year other than the 4.0 is to be more consistent on youtube and i know youtube's something that i really want to do we're gonna make it happen i pinky promise you guys I am going to stay on track for real this year. And if I don't, like, just unsubscribe to me next year, guys. Like, if I don't keep up with what I'm saying, just unsubscribe. Unhit that bell icon. Thumbs down the video. Thank you so much for watching the video. And um, you'll see me get my cut. You'll see everything. Just, like, countdown. Three, two, one. I just want to make another huge thank you to Ana Luisa and a reminder to click the link in the description for 10% off my code. Have a good one, guys.